<laughs> All right, guys, thanks for tuning in today. We're out here on the Canal River in Winfield, West Virginia. Bait was really tough for me this morning, but we finally got enough to fish with for the day, and so we're just gonna try to film a video. What we're using for fresh bait today is fresh gizzard shad. Some things are pretty much like gold right now with everybody's been having trouble lately trying to catch bait, but the rig we're gonna be using today is just a three-way rig, water temperatures at 50.9 degrees. So I'm hoping they're gonna come off the bottom a little bit and feed. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna get some baits out there and see if we can't get on a couple fish today. Hold on, man. Let me call you back. On the phone, wasn't paying attention. <laughs> We've probably been sitting here about 15 minutes, I'd say. But he's got a little bit of shoulder to him. hooked him in about 16, 17 foot of water, somewhere in that range. He's a respectable flathead. He's not a giant, but you know, we're going to take him, that's for a fact. Big cat fever rods, I love them. Oh yeah, he wasn't getting away from that. Such a little guy, man. He, he has some shoulders on him. This guy's beautiful fish. He's got a pretty collar to him. Got a little bit of mud on his belly, not too much though, so he's he's out and about. Thank you, buddy. Alright, let's bring get some bait back out in that water and see what else has come. Also guys, I'll go ahead and put a link in the description where you can get these rods and these Big Cat Fever rods and the uh, Slime Line, which they're both made by the same company, and uh, Dell's website, that way you can try out some of them hooks. You know, a lot of people's gonna tell you different, this is better than that, this is better than this. Well, you know, it's all personal preference and what you trust in, and this is, this is what I like to use. So. Check the link in the description below and we'll uh, we'll get it posted. Well, that feels like a better fish, guys. Oh yeah, that feels like a lot better fish. That's what we're wanting.
bevy real quick at Wacken Alley. definitely been in the mud but he's not a giant but you know we're still catching fish and we're having a good time and that's all that matters we're gonna put him back in that way he can get bigger hopefully we'll catch him in a couple years and he might be a 30 or something that's why catch picture release is very important We got another little feller on. Oh. I don't know about little. <laughs> he ain't gonna be huge, I don't think, but. Today's been a pretty muddy belly. Look at that Dell's tackle hook, guys. You can see it. Piercing good. Let's 
you later, buddy. No big fish today, but man, I've, I've had a good time. All right, guys, we're going to wrap it up today. It's been a really tough bite. Got on the water pretty late. Still managed to put a couple fish in the boat. Didn't really find that big fish that we were looking for, but that's okay. We still learned something today, and we had a good time. And I'm just glad that I was able to put out a little bit of content. But please like, share, and subscribe. Let me know what else you guys want to see. And I'm still pretty new at this, so bear with me. But I'm hoping this, uh, this spring we can do a lot of filming and put out some good content so whatever you guys want to see let me know put it in the comments like share and subscribe and thank you very much have a good one